The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to Lesson 22, your distance education program in chemistry for opposite science. I am Longing Gingu Innocent, your chemistry teacher. We are still on the topic matter, properties, and transformation, and the subtopic acid base equilibrium. This subtopic acid base equilibrium will be treated in the following lessons acid base theories, the ionic product of water and pH, acid strength and dissociation constant of acids and bases pH of strong acids and strong bases, pH of weak acids and weak bases, buffer solutions, calculations of pH of acidic buffers, calculations of pH of basic buffers, preparation of a buffer solution of known pH, acid base indicators and titrations, pH changes during titrations and pH curves. Before beginning today's lesson, I would like us to correct the assignment we had at the end of our previous lesson. Correction of assignment. Ammonia is a Lewis base. A. Write an equation for and use it curly arrows show how it carries out its basic action when dissolved in water. B. Explain why ammonia is equally considered to be Roman man, an Arrhenius base. Meanwhile, the Lewis acid, boron trifluoride, is not an Arrhenius acid. Roman II, a Bronsted Lowry base, whereas boron trifluoride is not an acid in the Bronsted Lowry sense. Answers. A. Write an equation for and using curly arrows show how ammonia carries out its basic action when dissolved in water. Now, when ammonia is dissolved in water, the reaction on your screen takes place. Now, notice that in ammonia, there is a lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. Nitrogen donates this lone pair to hydrogen of water. Now the hydrogen accepts the load pair of electrons and then there is heteronitic bond fission of the hydrogen-oxygen bond in such a way that the electron pair of the two electrons involved in the bond are transferred to oxygen atom. And now the product is ammonium ion and hydroxyl ion with an overall negative charge. B Explain why ammonia is equally considered to be Roman man and Arrhenius base. Meanwhile, the Lewis acid, boron trifluoride, is not an Arrhenius acid. Now, ammonia dissolves in water to form hydroxyl ions in an equilibrium reaction whereby one mole of ammonia reacting with one mole of water will be equilibrium with one mole of ammonium ion and one mole of hydroxyl ion. Now notice that ammonia dissolves in water to produce hydroxyl ion as the only uh, produce hydroxyl ions. Therefore, ammonia is an arrhenius base because it produces hydroxyl ions 
in aqueous solution. Boron trifluoride, on the other hand, is not considered an Arrhenius acid. Due to its incomplete octet, boron trifluoride is electron deficient. It tends to attract electron pairs from the donor atoms of other species, thus acting as a Lewis acid and not an Arrhenius acid. B. Explain why ammonia is equally considered to be Roman II, a Bronsted Lowry base, whereas boron trifluoride is not an acid in the Bronsted Lowry sense. Now, ammonia is a base in the Bronsted Lowry sense since it, it can accept a proton. Now, looking at the reaction given to you, discover that water donates a proton to ammonia. Ammonia accepts the proton to form ammonium ion. Water donates the proton and forms hydroxyl ion. So ammonia is a proton acceptor, and that is a base in the in the, the proton acceptor is a base in the bronze glory sense. Boron trifluoride, on the contrary, is clearly not a bronsted lowry acid. This is because it does not have a hydrogen ion to release on dissociation. Rather, boron trifluoride will accept a lone pair of electrons acting as a Lewis acid instead. Looking at the equation, discover or uh, notice how the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen ammonia is donated to boron in boron trifluoride. A negative covalent bond is formed between the two species. So boron is an uh, boron trifluoride is an electron pair acceptor that is an acid in the Lewis sense. Today we shall continue with lesson 22, which is titled Ionic the Ionic Product of Water and pH. The outline of this lesson is as follows. Objectives, prerequisite, the ionic product of water and pH, evaluation, assignment, and references. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the ionic product of water, write an expression for the ionic product of water, Define pKW and pK and pH. Describe how KW is affected by temperature changes and determine the pH of a neutral solution. Prerequisite. To effectively understand this lesson, you must have mastered the following, the following. Acid-base theories, strong and weak acids and bases, Conjugate acid base pairs and equilibrium constant. The ionic product of water, KW. Pure water is amphoteric and self ionizes to establish an equilibrium whereby two moles of water will be in equilibrium with one mole of hydroxonium ion and one mole of hydroxide ions, or an equilibrium where one mole of water will be in equilibrium with one mole of hydrogen ions and one mole of hydroxide ions. Now, every equilibrium reaction has an equilibrium constant. Based on the equilibrium law, the equilibrium constant Kc will be equal to the molar concentration of hydroxonium ion at equilibrium times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions at equilibrium or divided by the molar concentration of water raised to the power 2. Or it can be the equilibrium constant Kc is equal to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions at equilibrium times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions at equilibrium divided by the molar concentration of water raised to the power 2. Now, rearranging the equation we have, Kc times the molar concentration of water raised to the power 2 is equal to the molar concentration of the hydroxonium ion times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Now, it's important to remember that the concentration of water in its pure state is constant at a given temperature. Therefore, the product Kc times the molar concentration of water raised to the power 2 is equal to a new constant, Kw. Now, substituting this in the above equation we have, Kw is equal to 
the molar concentration of hydroxonium, hydroxonium ion times the molar concentration of hydroxide ion or KW is equal to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Now, the constant KW is equal to the ionic product of water. The ionic product of water is the product of the concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from self-ionized water at 25 degrees Celsius. I repeat, the ionic product of water is the product of the concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from self-ionized water at 25 degrees Celsius. At 25 degrees Celsius, the ionic product of water has a value of 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 14 moles square dm to the power negative 6. Pure water is neutral because in pure water, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the molar concentration of hydroxide ions irrespective of the value of the ionic product of water. In pure water at 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius, the molar concentration of hydrogen ion, which is the same as the molar concentration of hydroxide ion, is equal to 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeters. Variation of ionic product with temperature. Now, looking at the table on your screen, you notice that at 10 degrees Celsius, the ionic product of water has a value of 0 0.293 times 10 to the power negative 14 moles per dm to the power negative 6. At 20 degrees Celsius, it has a value of 0 0.681 times 10 to the power negative 14 moles per to the power dm most per atm to the power negative 6. At 30 degrees Celsius, 1.471 times 10 to the power negative 14. And at 40 degrees Celsius, 2.916 times 10 to the power negative 14. So KW, that is the ionic product of water, increases with increase in temperature. The value of the ionic product of water increases with increase in temperature. This means that the equilibrium position in the equilibrium shifts to the right as the temperature is raised. Thus, the degree of dissociation of water increases at higher temperatures. pH pH is defined as the negative logarithm to the base step of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. I repeat, pH is a negative logarithm to the base step of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. Mathematically, pH can be written as pH is equal to negative log base 10 of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. Now, notice that a decrease of pH decreases with increase in the molar concentration of hydrogen ions, and the pH increases with a decrease in the molar concentration of hydrogen ions. So, pH is inversely proportional to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions. Recall, in pure water, the molar concentration of hydrogen ion is 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeter. Now, substituting this value of the molar concentration of hydrogen ion in the expression for pH, we have pH is equal to negative log to the base state of 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 7. Simplifying, we have pH is equal to 7. Therefore, the pH of pure water at 25 degrees Celsius is 7. Now, in acidic solutions, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than that of pure water at 25 degrees Celsius. That is, in acidic solutions, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeter. And if we substitute this value in the expression of pH and simplify, you have pH values less than 7, which means that acidic solutions have pH values less than 7. Nitrate, 
alkaline solutions, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is less than that of hydrogen ions in pure water at 25 degrees Celsius. That is, in alkaline solutions, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is less than 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeter. Now, substituting this value in the expression of pH and simplifying, we have a pH value greater than 7. This means that alkaline solutions have pH values greater than 7. It is important, therefore, to note that pH is a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration. It gives no information on the acid strength because it is possible for a dilute solution of a strong acid to have a higher pH value than a concentrated solution of a weak acid. I repeat, pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration. It gives no information on acid strength. This is because it is possible for a dilute solution of a strong acid to have a higher pH value than a concentrated solution of a weak acid. KW and PKW. By definition, PKW is equal to negative log garrido to the base 10 of KW. Now we know that KW is equal to the product of the molar concentration of hydrogen ions times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. So substituting KW in the place of equation for PKW we have PKW is equal to negative log to the base 10 hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. Now, expanding this equation, we have PKW is equal to negative log to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration minus log to the base 10 of hydroxide ion concentration. Now, we know that pH is equal to negative log to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration and BOH is negative log to the base 10 of hydroxide ion concentration. Now substituting these values in the equation, we have PKW is equal to pH plus POH. Better still, pH plus POH is equal to 14. The pH scale. The pH scale is a scale used to specify the acidity and basicity of an aqueous solution. I repeat, the pH scale is a scale used to specify the acidity and basicity of an aqueous solution. The pH scale has values ranging ranging from zero to fourteen. On the pH scale, pure water is neutral and has a pH value of seven. Acidic solutions have pH values less than seven while basic or alkaline solutions have pH values greater than 7. On your screen, you have a pH scale. Notice that 7 at 7, uh, it corresponds to neutral. That the pH value of 7 is a neutral pH value. Now above 7, we have alkaline or basic solutions. While below 7, we have acidic solutions. Also note that Above 7, the higher the pH value, the more alkaline the solution. And below 7, the lower the pH value, the more acidic the solution. Measuring pH. The pH of a solution can be measured using the following method. 1. The hydrogen by using hydrogen electrode. 2. Indicators and 3. The pH meter. Now, using hydrogen electrode to measure pH. The use of hydrogen electrode to measure pH involves dipping the hydrogen electrode into a solution whose pH is to be measured as the half cell. Now, this half cell is combined with a standard hydrogen electrode to form a complete cell. The electromotive force of the electrochemical cell formed by combining the two half cells is related to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions by the equation E is equal to 0.059 log to the base 10 hydrogen ion concentration. Now getting 
the molar concentration of hydrogen ions from the equation, we can get the pH of the solution. Using indicators to measure pH. Now, the use of indicators to measure pH involves comparing the standard color corresponding to a known pH with that of an indicator immersed in the test liquid. Indicators may be used to indicate the approximate pH of a solution or reveal a pH change. Using pH meta to measure pH. Now, the pH meta consists of the really main part. These are a pair of electrodes that is dipped into the solution whose pH we want to measure, an electronic circuit, and a readout device. Example 1. The aqueous hydrogen ion concentration in human blood is 4 times 10 to the power negative 8 moles per dm cube. What is the pH of human blood? Solution. pH is equal to negative log to the base 10 of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. Now substituting molar hydrogen ion concentration with value, we have pH is equal to negative log to the base 10 of 4 times 10 to the power negative 8. Simplifying the equation we have, pH is equal to 7.4. So the pH of human blood is 7.4. Now pH values above 7 are alkaline or basic. Therefore the human blood is slightly basic. Example 2. A. Define the term pH of a solution. B. The ionic product of water at 298 Kelvin is 10 to the power negative 14 in value. Roman 1. What is meant by the term ionic product of water? Roman 2, determine the unit of Kw. Solution. A, define the term pH of a solution. pH of a solution is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. B, the ionic product of water at 298 Kelvin, Kw, is 10 to the power negative 40 in value. Roman 1, what is meant by the term ionic product of water? The ionic product of water, Kw, is the product of the concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from self-ionized water. B. The ionic product of water at 298 Kelvin, Kw, is 10 to the power negative 14 in value. Roman 2, determine the unit of Kw. Now, Kw is equal to the product of the molar concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. Now, the, the molar concentration has units moles per cubic decimeter. So substituting molar concentration of hydrogen ions and molar concentration of hydroxide ions with their units, we have unit of Kw is equal to moles per cubic decimeter times moles per cubic decimeter. Simplifying the equation, we have unit of Kw is equal to moles square dm to the power negative 6. Recall, it's important to remember that the ionic product of water Kw is a product of the concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from self-ionized water. The value of the ionic product of water Kw increases with increase in temperature. The pH is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. In pure water, pH is equal to 7. And the molar hydrogen ion concentration is the same as the molar hydroxide ion concentration. In acidic solution, pH values are less than 7. And the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than the molar concentration of hydroxide ion, of hydroxide ions. In alkaline solution, pH values are greater than 7. And the molar concentration of hydrogen ions are less than the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. The pH of a solution can be measured using 
the standard hydrogen electron pH metal indicators and the pH chart evaluation. So know how well you follow this lesson. Answer this question. Use the table below to answer the questions that follow. Now the table contains temperatures in degrees Celsius and ionic product of water in most weight range of power and negative six. Temperature values ranges from zero to forty. The corresponding values of ionic product are given. Now A. Calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions in pure water at 10 degrees Celsius and at 40 degrees Celsius, respectively. B. Determine the pH of water at both temperatures. And C. Is a self ionization of water exothermic or endothermic? Use KW. Solution. Calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions in pure water at 10 degrees Celsius and at 40 degrees Celsius, respectively. KW, as we know, is equal to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Now, in pure water, the molar concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Substituting so, this in the equation, we have KW is equal to the molar concentration of hydrogen ions raised to the power 2. Now, making the molar concentration of hydrogen ions the subject of the equation, we have molar concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the square root of KW. Now, at 10 degrees Celsius, KW is equal to 0 0.293 times 10 to the power negative 14 most to ATM to the power negative 6. Now, substituting this value in the equation, we have molar concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to the square root of 0 0.293 times 10 to the power negative 14. Simplifying, we have a value of molar concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to 5.413 times 10 to the power negative 8 moles per cubic decimeter. At 40 degrees Celsius, KW is equal to 2.916 times 10 to the power negative 14 moles per ATM to the power negative 6. Substituting this in the value in the equation of molar concentration of hydrogen ion and simplifying the half, molar concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to 1.708 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeter. B. Determine the pH of water at both temperatures. pH is equal to negative log to the base 10 of molar hydrogen ion concentration. So at 10 degrees Celsius, the molar concentration of hydrogen ion is 5.41 degrees times 10 to the power negative 8 moles per cubic decimeter. Substituting this in the expression of pH and simplifying, we have a pH value of 7.2. 7. At 40 degrees Celsius, the molar concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to 1.708 times 10 to the power negative 7 moles per cubic decimeter. Substituting this in the expression of pH and simplifying, we have a pH value of 6.77. So pH decreases with increase in temperature. C is a self ionization of water exothermic or endothermic. Use KW. Now, water ionizes to establish equilibrium with its ions in solution. So, KW is equal to the molar concentration of hydroxonium ion times the molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Given that KW increases with temperature, therefore, the self ionization of water is endothermic. Assignment. Before our next lesson, answer this question. This question concerns the pH scale. A. Which is more acidic? A solution with a pH of 9 or a solution with a pH of 3? B. Using suitable calculation, explain your answer. References. Chemistry for the IB Diploma by Steve Owen. Advanced Chemistry by Michael, Michael Coxton and Rosalind Fleming. Chemistry in Context by Graham Hill and John Homer. 
complete advanced level chemistry by Kule Imano Eng. We've come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on acid strength and dissociation constants of acids and bases. Tam tam atonge tam zabike tam 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 amote tam zabike mane tambia ninyane injo biyen